Is that you? Yeah, it's me, brother. Are we live in Puerto Rico? We are live. Guess what? I got an envelope. Inside the envelope is the letter. I got the letter. I got the letter. I got the letter. What's in the letter? Oh, brother, I am so happy you have to understand one thing. When I left Puerto Rico, I felt empty. I thought my wrestling career was over. For the past year, I've been working nine to five here in the States. Can you tell that the itch, I got an itch to get back into the ring? I'm not gonna lie. Every Sunday I've been watching the World Wrestling League on TV. And I've been watching the wrestlers, the great wrestlers from around the world, get this envelope and get invited. And I prayed. I got down on my knees and I prayed that somebody would send me an envelope. And this morning, before I went to work, I went to the mailbox, and this baby was there. Like it was a sign from above that I am to return to Puerto Rico. The envelope was there. You're pumping me up, brother. Tell me what time it is. Do you know what time it is, Moody? Tell me what time it is. It's time. Time to get it on to the break of dawn. Time to rap reggae, salsa merengue, rock and roll, hoochie coo, insurrection, insurrection. By gosh, insurrection, I'm coming, baby! Do you know what time it is? Buenas tardes, Puerto Rico, y bienvenidos a Chick Chat with the Champ. Whoa, it's been a long time since I've been able to say that. It feels good. Well, a couple weeks ago, I prayed to get the letter. I got the letter. And then I got the itch to get back in the ring, and it looks like that I'm gonna get back into the ring. What I didn't know was that I'd have to get in the ring against a six foot nine, seven foot tall champion. Am I scared? A little bit. Am I worried? Maybe. This is just another mountain to climb, but more importantly, I've got to prove to myself that I've still got it. That I can still hang and bang with the best of them in the ring. So I'm making a promise. It's time to get in shape. It's time to train. It's time to go to Puerto Rico ready. My name is Shane Sewell. I'm originally from Canada. But I tell people I'm from Puerto Rico. Porque mi corazón es Puerto Rico. Oh. My, my phone is ringing in my pants. Hold on. Hold on. Hello. No, this is Shane. Who is this? Agent Quinones. Immigration? Victor and Carlos phoned you? Oh, turn, turn that off. Turn. Hello, Agent Quinones. Shane Sewell. Yeah, no, I'm here. I'm in front of the immigration services. It seems like two people called yeah. immigration on me, Homeland Security, and uh, let them know that uh, I didn't have my proper paperwork to be in the United States or Puerto Rico. I was uh, contacted by Agent Quinones to bring my paperwork and documentation into the Homeland Security office, and uh, that's what I did. All I really know is the, 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 the two people that phoned, uh, we, we do have history. Uh, they've tried this before in the past, and they failed, uh, and, and that's exactly what's gonna happen this time. I'm meeting with Agent Quinones uh, this week. Uh, I seem, I, I'm very eager to, to, to prove that uh, the people that accuse me of not being an American citizen and being in this country uh, legally wrong. So uh, I'm very excited to wrap that up uh, and, uh, and get ready to, uh, to head to Puerto Rico, uh, get ready to rock and roll, Huchiku, Salsa Marenga, you know all the good stuff in mi casa, in mi pueblo, si sabe. <laughs> Are you coming to the meeting? Uh, meeting? What, what meeting? To sobre, your envelope. It's an invitation to a meeting this week. 
in Puerto Rico. No, brother, my, my envelope is an invitation to go to his direction on October the 8th. Wait, what? Tu sobra es igual que el letón Eri Laini. Jane, please, please, tell me, who signed your invitation? I can't really tell you. Shane, please, por favor, es importante, it's very important. I need your help. ¿Quién firmó tu sobre? Who signed it? Okay, okay, relax, relax. It was my good brother. It was Ricky. Ricky? Ricky who? Hey, Shane, Shane, Shane. Estoy casi seguro que ese sobre no lo firmó Ricky Bandera. Shane. Wait, 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 wait. Who, who needs my help? Ricky. Buenas tardes, Puerto Rico, y bienvenidos a Chip Chat with the Champ. Well, insurrection is right around the corner. And it takes guts and attitude to step in the ring with a monster. It takes guts and attitude to go face to face with a monster. It takes guts and attitude to believe that you're gonna beat the monster. Monster pain, come insurrection. I face the monster, not only inside of me, but the monster that stands in front of me. Because you see, what I guess I'm trying to say is that we all have a monster inside of us. That boss that's constantly telling you that you're no good. That friend that's constantly telling you that you don't fit in. Or that fear deep inside of us that constantly keeps us held down from following and reaching our dreams. Well, what I'm trying to say is do not give up on your dreams. If you believe it, you can achieve it, and I know I'm going to win. And that's an awesome feeling to know deep down inside that I'm going to win and be successful, regardless of the bumps and bruises, regardless of the blood, sweat, and tears. What I'm trying to say is, come insurrection. I'm not only fighting the monster inside of me and the monster standing in front of me, but I'm fighting the monster for all the people in Puerto Rico that feel held down because they don't look good enough, because they're not tall enough, or they don't fit into what society wants you to fit into. Monster pain, insurrection, I'm coming, and I'm coming for one thing. Donde esta mi titolo? Insurrection, insurrection, by gosh, insurrection. 